So yesterday on July 14th, D'Angelo Wallace made a video talking about some accusations and allegations about the content creator Cody Ko. Cody Ko, from what I know, I don't really watch his videos, I don't really know too much about him, but he used to be on Vine, he was very popular on Vine, and right around, I think it was around 2016 when Vine was shutting down, he switched over to doing YouTube content, and he's a pretty beloved creator, and that's pretty much all I really know about him. He kind of does a variety of different things on his YouTube channel, and is known for doing a lot of things. I think he makes music, I think, something similar, something, something like that, and there were some allegations and some rumors about him doing something pretty bad. I'm gonna get this out right away. I had no idea about any of this information whatsoever. I didn't see any of the Reddit posts. I didn't see any of the smaller content creators who were talking about this. I didn't I didn't hear anything about this. So D'Angelo Wallace points out in the video that there were a lot of commentary channels that didn't really speak about this. And he's probably not specifically calling out me because I'm still a much smaller channel. I only recently hit 6k so and I've only been making commentary videos for not even like a couple of months probably maybe like three or four months so i didn't really know any of these allegations i didn't really know about any of these rumors but to basically give you the lowdown of what happened and what happened in d'angelo wallace's video he calls out cody ko because of a story that Tana Mojo had actually talked about a couple of times before. And basically what happened back in 2016 at Playlist Live in Florida, they hooked up. And the reason why this is important is because at the time in 2016, Tana Mojo was 17 years old and Cody Ko was 25 years old. About a month ago, she hosted a live episode in front of an audience and the conversation turned to you. Who's the smallest you've ever had sex with? Oh my God, no one look at me, Cody Ko. I can say that, I was literally 17. This clip started making the rounds and people were understandably perturbed because if Tana Mojo was 17, you would have been 25. So people started speculating and Tana decided to set the record straight. I hooked up with Cody Cole when I was 17 and he was 25. So already it's pretty bad because of the fact that she was underage and he was 25 years old. And the age of consent, for those of you who are probably wondering and who are probably going to use it as a defense, the age of consent in Florida is 18 years old. So pretty much what's being accused of Cody Ko, and Tana has mentioned this multiple times in multiple different videos, and D'Angelo Wallace shows it in his video that he made yesterday, uh, that is pretty much statutory rape, and that's what's being accused of Cody Ko, and he's refused to talk about this at all. He's deleted comments talking about it. On your YouTube channel, where you've been pumping out content nearly every day now i couldn't find a single comment on your last video about this situation not even one comparing that to the comment section on your instagram where every single comment i saw was about this it's clear that you're heavily censoring your audience on youtube he's basically done everything that he possibly can to completely scrub this down the toilet and just completely silence anyone who's even trying to mention this and get this out into the public and make it most well known which is kind of surprising considering that D'Angelo Wallace actually shows the fact that this was talked on Ethan Klein's podcast, so I'm surprised this didn't break out further. So I guess Cody Ko did a pretty damn well good job at hiding it because I didn't know about it. Nobody in my friend circle knew about it. Uh, none of these other commentary channels that I've seen before have really talked about it before. This has only been breaking out into the mainstream now because the Angela Wallace is another commentary channel who's very well known and very well respected. And he's talking about it and he fully exposed this whole story. I think the smoking gun of this specifically in this whole entire situation is the fact that Tana mentions the fact that Gabby Hanna was actually someone who knew about the situation and knew that she was underage at the time and actually had told Cody Ko that she was underage at the time. And of course, that's just Tana Mojo saying one thing. We don't have actual proof of whether or not that actually happened and whether or not Gabby Hanna actually did that. And for apparently, for a long time, there was a clip that just was completely scrubbed off of the internet and people couldn't find it for a very, very long time. But thankfully, because of D'Angelo Wallace, we actually have video evidence of Gabby Hanna supporting this claim. And she basically talks about the story. She doesn't say names or anything, but she basically describes this exact same situation that Tana Mojo Mojo had already described herself, the fact that she was underage, she was at a party, and then she had sex with Cody Ko. Gabby Hanna pretty much says the exact same thing verbatim, but throws in the fact that she had actually went up to Cody Ko and warned him, like, hey, like, she's 17. I know she looks older, but she's 17. Watch it, dude. Like, you're gonna get in trouble if you end up hooking up with her. And he just com completely ignored it and decided to go ahead and have sex with her anyways. One time... I told a guy, I saw him making out with a girl at a party yeah. who was underage, and I pulled him aside, and I was like, 
hey man, you probably don't know. I know she like looks a little older. She's underage. Watch it. And he's like, oh my God, thank you for telling me. And then he turned that. So that's pretty much the entire smoking gun of the entire situation. And Cody Co definitely needs to respond to this. And I think it's also really messed up that a lot of other people and like her comments and on her social media posts and et cetera, et cetera. But instead of researching to find these answers like I did, many of your fans seem far more interested in attacking your accuser. I have seen so many comments, but what was she wearing? It's Tana, so who cares? Well, it's Tana Mojo. The reaction to this has been unsurprising, but incredibly disappointing. Demanding proof that they know she can't provide, acting like she's only doing this to gain clout or ruin you somehow, despite the fact that she's never once put your name in a video title over this. Or worst of all, implying that a 17 year old could have truly consented to any of this. But let's be clear about one thing. That is not the case. No amount of retroactive age calculations or what if scenarios change the fact that what Tana described would be, objectively speaking, a crime. A lot of people have been trying to undermine this whole thing and they are talking about how, oh, she consented, so it's fine. And then like the whole, oh, well, it's Tana Mojo, so who cares what happens to Tana Mojo because. She's not very well liked for a multitude of different reasons. One of the biggest things that comes to mind about Tana Mojo is obviously TanaCon, and then uh, iDubs had his whole content cop about her that made her look pretty bad as well. Tana Mojo is a content creator who's definitely not liked very well in the entire social media slash YouTube sphere, but that doesn't mean that we can just immediately dismiss her story just because a lot of people don't like her. And I'll make it no secret that I also don't really like Tana Mojo all that well, and I might feel a certain way about her and her personality and her behavior and her content and this and that and the other, but at the end of the day, something bad happened, right? Something bad happened to Tana, and she, even though she says that she doesn't feel traumatic about it, this was still something that could have been internalized in a specific way that is still affecting her to this very day. But we have no idea because only Tana can really confirm how, how she feels. But yeah, I think one of the biggest things about the situation is not only the, the fact that Cody Ko knew that she was underage and still decided to have sex with her anyways, but the gross negligence of ever trying to talk about the situation whenever it is brought into the public, clarifying like information that might not be well known at the time when it was brought into the light and the fact that he's trying to hide this information. And then of course, people trying to do these r ridiculous, insane mental gymnastics to defend Cody Ko just because they prefer him over Tana Mojo. And it's entirely messed up. And this is a really messed up situation. And I think this is, not really much else to say. I'm recording this after the fact when I just recorded that last segment that you heard. I forgot to mention that D'Angelo Wallace also mentions the fact that he is to this day still friends with someone who back in college, I think it was, uh, participated in a non-consensual videotaping of a sex act with another student. And then there were also some other information later that was recounted by the woman who had that happen to. And apparently it was revealed that he had actually drugged her and knocked her unconscious and potentially uh, assaulted her. So not only does Cody Ko not handle well with being confronted with allegations, he tries everything in his path to be able to hide the information as much as possible. But to this day, he's still friends, uh, even went to his wedding, by the way, uh, he's still friends with someone who at worst committed an illegal sex act, but at worst is an actual rapist. So that's fucking crazy uh back to the video this might not be barnacles right this might not be a he said she said situation i think this might be a very serious situation that needs to be talked about i think cody co needs to hurry up and make a video and not put it behind a paywall because i re i had actually heard about the situation from uh, Moist Critical, and then I watched uh, D'Angelo Wallace's video for myself. It's mentioned that there was another situation that happened before he, he had made an apology video and then put it behind a paywall. So that's really, really fucking crazy. Oh yeah, it was because he said a couple of slurs and he put it behind a paywall on like his Patreon or something like that, which is fucking stupid. How, how are you going to get called out for saying some slurs on Vine? And then for that to come out later and then put it behind a paywall, that's super scummy behavior. Yeah, Cody Ko needs to talk about this. I'm not ashamed to say that I don't really care about Cody Ko. He's not really someone that I really like all that much. Mainly because I don't really know much about him and I'm not really a viewer of his at all. And obviously we're not friends because he's a much bigger channel than I am. So yeah, this is a really messed up situation. Cody Ko needs to respond. Shout out to D'Angelo Wallace for 
finding all the information. If you want to know some more in-depth details and you want to hear what he has to say, uh, definitely go check out D'Angelo Wallace's video because he did a fantastic job uh, explaining all of the information that was needed to know. And yeah, this is a very serious situation. I'll probably make another video whenever Cody Code decides to finally respond. But whenever that happens is when it's going to happen. And then hopefully I'll get it out in time for people to hear about. So that's pretty much it for me, though. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this video as soon as possible because this happened yesterday and I only heard about it today. So I need to hurry up and get it out so people know about it and know what I had to think about it. So that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. Please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Let